Hi Space Cadets, Astro Chris here. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you're new here, please be sure to like and subscribe on your way in. It does help me to pick up on your energy for future readings. If you would like to receive your spiritual messages from this channel, we're going to be using some tarot decks and some oracle cards today to tap into your message. I want to find out for you all the recent energy that we've had come through, which was very intense, we had a full moon, we had the uh, meteor shower, we had an eclipse, and we had the 1111 portal. So as I'm reading this, we're coming off of the high from all of that energy. And so let's just see what has changed. What is the universe try like kind of percolating for you to start changing within the next couple of months here? Because of course... Whenever there is a major eclipse, it does f send through a cleansing. So things could be eclipsed out of your life to make way for new beginnings. And especially with this 1111 portal, a lot of you will start experiencing those changes. They're going to be sudden shakeups, but the 1111 portal can make room for uh, spiritual unions to come into play. It can make room for um, your goals and your manifestations to start coming into reality. So um, if you don't have the correct parameters to allow that to come in through to fruition, the universe is going to make some things kind of leave your space or uh, finalize the ending to some cycles for you. So let's see what is going to be changing for you all as we go into this, this uh, winter season here. December is usually the time for rest, recuperation, harvesting, all the things that you've worked really hard for the seasons prior. And then, of course, as you settle into the winter, at the beginning of next year, you're going to start seeing these paths that are meant for you um, start to open up a little bit clearer. and be Become clearer is how I want to say that. You're going to be able to see a little bit clearer into where you should go. So bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle. All the decks to my left have been pre-shuffled. I like to t pay attention to the bottom deck energy because it does give us a theme of the overarching message that's gonna come out in the, in the reading today. Now, for those of you who are new, uh, this is going to be just a general reading, so please take what resonates. What comes out could be about you, it could be about somebody you know, it could be about something that's happened in the past, it could be about somebody's thought process, or it could be a message from the universe, your ancestors, a, a past loved one, whatever, which is why you really have to discern the energy for yourself and take it as it resonates. Only take what resonates, and what I mean by that is the thing that you feel in your gut to be true or a description that comes out that perfectly describes someone in your life or um, a scenario you've recently been through. So pay attention to those kinds of things. But as I like to tell everybody, always watch my videos because even if the title doesn't pertain to you, I do sometimes channel messages because I'm not just a tarot reader. I'm a psychic medium as well, a high priestess. And so I can receive information from other dimensions and sometimes shuffling the cards helps me to tap into that. And so the message doesn't always come from the tarot. It also comes from what I read intuitively in the cards and the other uh, clairvoyancies that I have that come through during a reading. So let's see what comes out. I'm using the unofficial office theme tarot deck. Uh, we have the judgment showing up in the bottom deck energy here. When the judgment shows itself, this is somebody either making a decision or this is the universe making a decision for you because you couldn't make a decision. Um, whenever the universe makes these decisions for you, it comes in the form of karma. And karma is different for everybody, just like everybody is on a different path in their journey. So uh, the universe here is calling judgment on a certain situation for somebody in particular. So let's get into that. Let's find out who this is for and what you need to know. But first I wanna make sure we get a good light of this Palo Santo here. All right. So let's shuffle, see what's going on. Some of you could you have recently come into certain changes in your life. Maybe you've gotten a better career or one just ended for you. You're coming out of a relationship. Could have been a long-term situation. 
whatever it is, there are changes happening for everybody and this coming winter season is going to be a true test to our commitment, to our goals, and where we want to be in life. All right, what is the message for today's viewership spirit? We have the Three of Swords. It's heartbreak, pain, separation. You could get a separation from somebody, or you could have recently separated. Whoever it is you recently separated from could be wanting to communicate and reach out to you. Okay. They could be seeing that you're single, and this could be a problem. <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got the Empress. Hi, Empresses, all my divine feminines out there. Thank you for watching. Um, this is about an Empress. Somebody's got their eyes on an Empress here. Ooh. Somebody sees this person as marriage material. Okay, let's keep clarifying. Like I said earlier, the 1111 portal is ripe for the energies uh, bringing spiritual unions together. And so uh, if you're resonating with being in a spiritual connection or um, some type of union that you're thinking about bringing in together or one that come into your life that has influenced you in some way, shape or form, um, this could be pertaining to that. So bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle, we have the Six of Wands coming out in the Tarot Familiar deck. Um, the Six of Wands indicates somebody wanting success. There could have been a situation where you were at a separation from this person in particular, and now they're wanting to come back in, communicate, and bring success to the situation in some way, shape, or form. Let's see. What is the Three of Swords? Did something fall over? No. Okay. What's the Three of Swords for? Clarify the Three of Swords. The High Priestess. Six of Cups. Wow. Okay. We're going to keep that one, but let's pay attention to these. Holy shit. That is some crazy synchronicity that fell out here. We have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands, and then the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands fell out again. So, emphasis on a separation coming back together. There's going to be a bridging of a gap here. Or at least that's somebody's intentions. Somebody's intentions could be to bridge a gap. It could be an emotional gap, a communicative gap, a physical gap. Something along those lines, somebody wants to come in and uh, talk to you, collective. Somebody wants to come talk to you. They could have broken your heart in the past, and they could want to come in and discuss that and acknowledge it. Because um, we have the Four of Cups here, so breaking of the heart. This could have been a previous rejection, or somebody that created a stalemate for you. They got bored in the relationship, went out into a third-party situation, something like that. Um, but in clarification of the Three of Swords here, we have, oh, did I just, no, okay. We have the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Pentacles. So, I almost get the vibe here that somebody's financial situ situation got in the way of a connection here. But there was like an inner knowing that... Maybe it was for a grander reason, for a bigger reason. I feel like someone is, is recognizing this as a redirection in life, in their path. So with that high priestess here, that tells me that somebody here is considering that that may have been a message in particular. We have the king of swords here. Um, blocked. Whatever it was... <laughs> I'm going back to that judgment card that we saw in the pre-shuffle here when I talked about the universe doing something particular here for somebody. It's almost like the universe halted something. Put, came to, brought something to an end. Blocked something from somebody. Which then escalated into that particular situation ending. But there's a new beginning here, an emphasis on a new beginning with a soulmate or someone from a past life. If, if you meet somebody from a past life, it's somebody you connect with rather quickly. 
it's almost like you've known them before. You're comfortable with them. It's easy to talk to them. Um, these are people that you could have shared past lives with if you believe in reincarnation. You don't have to. If you don't believe in that, then it, it's probably a type of connection where, like I said, you just hit it off pretty quickly. And in a way, you're like, hmm, I've never been in something like this before. But that's because it's a significant connection. You start to feel those things. You start to wonder those things. And I feel like there's a certain situation that the universe called judgment on here that... It puts somebody into a lot of heartbreak and pain, but after a, a certain time of contemplation and thinking about it, it's almost like uh, they're starting to realize now that there was a, a reason why this happened. But now they're wanting to come in and communicate about something specific here. Um, whatever this was, the, the universe calling judgment definitely created a tower for them in their life. All right, let's clarify... What was that? It created a tower for them. It broke their heart. They're coming out as a nine of wands. What's the eight of wands here? Wow. Okay. One more, two more cards here, please. Jesus. They're, they're just wanting to fly out. So we have the eight of pentacles. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this person's wanting to come in now to... It's not the situation that they were going towards, but it's the situation that they were redirected to. It's almost like this person knows where they need to be redirected to, or they're recognizing they're recognizing the path that has been illuminated to them, and they're learning that that's where they want to go. That's where I'm getting here. It's not where they thought they were going to go with the universe called judgment on and blocked for them, but it's... It's where they were redirected to. Okay, I see just somebody at a crossroads. Just to help explain this, this is what this is the imagery that's coming in my mind. I see somebody at a crossroads. We have an A plan and a B plan. The B plan is fairly new. The B plan just recently opened up. But the A plan has always been available to this person, right? So the A plan, this person was like, oh, well... I don't know. If I go with the B plan, it may be like scary and rocky and I don't know if I want to be in that and I don't know. But A plan, I know exactly what to expect if I go to A plan. I'm just going to go where I'm comfortable. Let me go to A plan. And then as soon as this person started walking towards A plan, it's like the universe was like, bah, no, damn it. You need to go B. And so now this person is only faced with B being the available option. There may be other options, but this person can obviously see between those other options that they're not a viable path to take because it may lead to a dead end. And so the only available option that looks like it's not overgrown, that looks relatively clear, but it may be scary. And the only reason why it's scary is because it's new to this person, right? But that is the only available option to them now. And so now they're kind of like, oh, okay. I guess I kind of know why you blocked that path off for me. So now let me walk through here because I'm curious now, right? So there's like an energy of this person wanting to explore that. And like I said, it could be a very spiritual connection. It could be the type of uh, connection where they hit it off with somebody relatively quickly and then immediately friend zoned to them because that was kind of like a red flag to this person. Maybe this person had only ever been in situations where you had to really work hard to learn what people are like. But I feel like if you have that uh, past life connection with somebody, it's like an inner knowing. When you meet this person, you just hit it off right away. You're immediately comfortable with each other. You immediately have this unconditional acceptance between each other. And it creates a bond. It creates a connection. Um, and so this person's wanting to come forward and talk about that, I feel. They're wanting to move forward, or could they could even be wanting to travel as well. But there's something to do here with uh, putting in work. We have 8-8 eight, eight coming out here. Um, that was my dog, Bella. But they've definitely gotten clarity on this. And I feel like they're wanting to... They're wanting to take that step 
into the unknown with path B. <laughs> All right, what's the Nine of Pentacles? We have the Ten of Wands. What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Six of Swords. Okay. And the Nine of Cups. So they want to come in and bring a romantic offer. That's definitely what I'm getting here. And that is a burden for them because it's almost like they don't know how to come in and talk to this empress because this empress may intimidate them. This empress, they may realize the fact that they have many lives in the past with this person and that it's like, uh, I'm really getting the sense of somebody here that's just like, oh my God, what if I have actually had past lives with this person before and this person knows me in a way that maybe I didn't think was real? And with the high priestess here, this person could be a mystic. This person could be very spiritual. They could they could be a more ascended than this person. This person could be just starting their spiritual awakening. And maybe as they walk through path B, they're going to be more enlightened. And that's why the universe was guiding them towards this, this path. Because if they walked down path A, they would have fallen deeper into their sleep state. They would have encountered stalemates, heartbreak, and pain. But as they... This is like an Ace of Pentacles opportunity here, walking through path B. And I feel like this person has just been contemplating and stewing about it a lot. And thinking, and getting advice, and just like wandering... Let's get into the oracles and see what the oracles say here. Um, but another thing that I'm getting here is this person is seeing this empress as very abundant and successful on her own. And so they're kind of like, they don't know how to approach. They don't know how to talk to this person. They don't, yeah, they're in their head about it. <laughs> Look at Dwight freaking out. Yeah, they're in their head about it. Everything is changing fast for them. All of the changes that had to take place in order for them to be illuminated to path B and to realize that that was where the, the universe was directing them to. Like, it's a lot of things that were changing for this person. Okay. Bottom deck and the pre-shuffle of the Echo Soul Oracle deck, we have spiritual connection out here. This is exactly what I've been talking about. The 1111 portal is probably waking this person up and triggering a new phase into their awakening. And it's not fun. It's not easy. It's very emotional. It's it's a difficult time. You're It's like you're wrestling with your old self, but you're starting to shed and make room for new. And so a lot of people are like, why is he saying that? Or why is he talking like that? Or why is she, why is she all of a sudden religious or whatever? You know what I mean? Like people could be holy shit we have spiritual connection fresh start and love coming out here if i can grip the card fresh start and love i'm talking i'm telling you there's somebody that's really thinking about this commitment right now they're thinking about taking that leap of faith they're thinking about approaching you and talking to you they, they're curious. They want to know more. But it's a heavy burden for them because they don't know how to approach this empress. Because like I said, she's abundant on her own. She's independent. She doesn't need anybody. And so this person's like, what can I bring? What can I bring to this empress that would make her feel like I am a worthy option for her? Because she's so abundant on her own. Like, what, what can I do? <sighs> but I feel like the biggest gift that you can bring to an empress, especially if you do have a little bit of a history with her, is honesty. Just bring honesty. So we have a situation that's misunderstood here that's coming out. Whatever it is that's making this person stall towards walking towards this empress, it's a misunderstood type of situation, but I feel like the connection in and of itself is protected. There's a lot of energy about that out here. All right, Spirit, what is this uh, High Priestess Six of Cups energy about here? Mystery. Okay. I feel like that mystery talks a lot about how the unawakened state 
can can make you sometimes miss your blessings if you're not aware spiritually if you're in this low vibrational energy where there's constantly chaos around you you can miss your blessings you can miss opportunities yeah there's somebody here that was around this person wearing a false mask that was creating chaos for them they caused them a lot of pain and heartbreak i i feel and it definitely distracted this person from being able to see which path was the best, A or B. And so they were kind of like tempted to go down A because maybe somebody made them feel like B would be way worse. We have mirroring energy coming out here. Again, emphasis on this opportunity here. This person could be just really wanting to finish their process of letting go and healing because they're eager to move forward with this empress all right what is this uh moving forward the emphasis on the communication coming in quickly here spirit oh yes oh my god <laughs> this is what i was saying look we have the twin flame card coming out in past lives here this person is recognizing that that interesting connection that they share with this empress and they're they're like curious they're very curious they want to know more but they feel like they have too many issues they're feeling unworthy they don't know if this person would even indulge in helping them learn about it they're in a very complicated energy right now I feel like this person starting to recognize too that they they can't really approach and be in this empress's energy unless their energy is also high vibing. That's why this empress is probably at a separation. Maybe she was the one who initiated the separation. All right, what is this abundance coming in with an offer energy withholding? Yeah, somebody is really they don't know how to do it. <laughs> But they're feeling that connection now. They've been really indulging in it in other dimensions. And they're feeling that connection now. And it, it, it's it been healing them. They want to come in and be honest. They want to discuss the spiritual connection. But at the same time, it's like they're so confused about how to approach this person and talk about it. Because maybe they've always just been mocking this individual for what they believe in or whatever. You know, maybe they've always done something like that. Or they've just never felt adequate enough to, for her to be able to give this person the time of day. They don't feel worthy because of the thing, the way that they treated her in the past. There we go. We have negative coming out and peace. Yeah, they don't want to bring negativity that's going to disturb this person's peace. And this per they know that this is how this person operates, right? If you come in and you start to disrupt their peace, they're going to kick you out. And they need to be honest with this person. So they need to kind of like, they're trying to like feel this empress out to see like, oh, well, what energy is this person in? Because they want to come in, they want to have that heart to heart, but they don't know when would be a good time. So uh, let's pull a card on this person here that is wanting to approach. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the bottom deck. It could have taken a long time for this person to realize. Oh, look, it's like they were slow to go. It's This is, this is what I was talking about. This is this person at the crossroads. This is their approach to option B, right? And then when, they, when they're looking between the two, they rush into option A, and that's why the universe had to come in and block it. Because it, what it is that they were taking a long time to realize is that they were actually slowly manifesting their forever partner. Um, but they thought that it was down the option A. They thought it was down path A. And the universe was like, no, dummy. This is the path that you manifested. Go that way. You wanted this. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm feeling. And now this person's crying over spilled milk because option A was blocked off. But really, there's such, there's such a beautiful opportunity here right in front of this person's nose. All right. One card on the energy of this individual, please. Wow. They're surrendering. They're resting and recuperating right now. All right, fine. Let's get one more. What energy is this person in? Okay. I bet you this King of Cups. Nope. I thought I saw it, though. They want to cooperate. They want to...
come in and work with this person but the right now they're in an energy of kind of like resting and recuperating recovering from uh, this energy that has been coming out so let's find out what do they want to say this is my own personal little deck here um, but bottom deck we have I know what I want coming out there so this person could be wanting to communicate that now that they've been illuminated to path B, they could they could want to communicate that with this individual. Once again, I want to stress to some of you, <laughs> it's interesting in this, this uh, twin flame cycle that a lot of people will talk about how, oh, well, they've been watching a bunch of tarot readings for like a year now, and every reading says, I'm, this person's going to approach, they're going to come in and talk, they're going to want to do this, blah, 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 but they never do. Like, you can't shoot the messenger because... If this person never actually approaches you, then what I'm picking up on right now is their thought process, what's in their heart. And so you can rest easy knowing that it is on their heart, that it is their intention that they want to do this, but will they ever grow the balls? That is something tarot cannot predict because that is actually the process of someone's journey. If they don't ever grow the balls, and that just means that they're taking a little bit longer to progress on their journey. And um, you don't necessarily have to sit and wait on somebody to grow the balls. Or to grow their, you know what I mean. You could also be a female and need to grow the balls to say something to a man here. And this man could be playing manipulative games waiting for you to say something. But at the same time, but you're not. Like, there's some stubbornness here. There's some hard-headedness. Take it how it resonates. But there is an opportunity here for something great. And I feel like one of you is surrendering to that. But, like, there's also this energy of like not knowing how to approach that person to communicate what they're feeling right now because they could also be still taking some time to work through their feelings and just as I was saying that I stopped on this card emotional crying sadness depressed low energy yeah they're like I said they're getting a lot of rest they're recovering right now they're purging they're going through a healing process um, this person could be a water sign they could be a cancer um, but they're thinking about calling or texting, sending a letter, DMing you, or sending an email. That's definitely how they the communication may come in. It may just be a digital footprint. Um, they could be calling to see, hey, how about I come travel to you? We have certain songs remind me of you. This person is definitely... <laughs> they, okay, I just see somebody is listening to just sad music on repeat... And again, with this cancer, it could be a water sign or somebody could be in their cancer energy, meaning they're very emotional right now. Um, and that makes sense. And the other people could be looking at them as if they were like lazy and a slacker or whatever because they're just laying around. They're very depressed. They're not really doing much right now, but they're going through this, this phase of healing. And um, everybody heals differently, so we need to have respect for that. What else is on this person's mind? We have romance, flowers, dating, affection, and sweetness. They want to court this person here again, again, again with that emotional sadness, crying. What else is on this person's heart? What's on this person's heart? Creative project, do it yourself, resourceful. Um, they're they're having to be resourceful in some area in their life right now. What else? Maybe they're having to be resourceful on how they come in with the truth. Again, I'm, I'm again, I'm picking up um, somebody here who is just trying to find the words to say, the ways to approach. We have patience, bravery, courage, and strength. They're trying to build up the strength and the courage to come forward. Look, they're being told signs by the universe to just do it. Go. Message her. Text her. Text him. Call him. Send that email. Write that letter. Whatever it is. You're getting signs from the universe saying, do it. Look. <laughs> Do it. We have letter, text, call, DM, or email. I know what I want. Yeah, this person is thinking very heavily. This, this person could be a Gemini, but let's keep in mind, the Gemini is also the card of the lovers. And so this person is thinking very heavily about making their decision in love. All right, let's get one more card from this deck, please. What's on this person's mind? What is this? Scorpio, this person could be in their Scorpio energy. It's another water sign. They could have Scorpio highly aspected in their chart. Let's see what else? This could be involving a Taurus. We have Taurus coming out. If I can grab it. 
Taurus is an earth sign here. What else flipped over? We have my family is toxic. We have road trip, holiday, vacation, travel, event planning here. Somebody could be thinking about how to come towards this person. Maybe they could wanting to call or message you about a, a planned trip that they want to take. All right, what else? We have the, an Aries coming out, dark energy, shadow self. There's somebody here who is in their dark energy. They're going through a dark night of the soul, maybe. Um, this is some process that may involve we got that cancer coming out again greed will get you nowhere cancer somebody could be under judgment for being greedy in a certain situation here they were told to stop something happened that the universe gave them a clear a clear message of stop that could have been like i said the universe blocked off path a for this person on purpose we have the divine masculine coming out this person could be on their spiritual awakening Ooh, look Interesting that, that these came out the way that they did. We have the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine coming out here. But in between those two cards, we have the Lies card come out here. And so, emphasis on there being something specific here that caused the separation between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. When I say Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, that's the Empress. That's the Empress paired with the Emperor. That is any Divine counterpart where you have that spiritual connection here. And so um, you could be a Divine Feminine or you could be you could resonate as a Divine Masculine. So take this... Blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. Take the situation as it resonates for you. But before we go, I want to go ahead and get one more card from the Moonology Oracle deck here. We have Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way, Full Moon in Leo. This is the this is what what I was getting when we talked about gaining the courage and the strength to approach this person. Oh, look, we have a new romantic cycle begins in Libra. Wow, you could definitely be thinking about how to come in and talk to this person and what to say to them. Maybe you guys have a rock, had a rocky past because it's possible that this person was thinking about walking down path B at one point, but was tempted by path A. And then it hurt whatever person was on path B. And now there's some animosity that this person wants to come in and heal that they feel a little bit guilty about and apologetic for. All right, let's see. What's the uh, ending message for them today? We have a fiery climax approaches, full moon, and Aries. A new start is coming here. So there you have it. Look at that. We have a new start and a new romantic cycle begins. You guys are definitely on the precipice of a new beginning here. There is a fresh start coming in for you. There is an opportunity to discuss what has occurred here between this connection and there is an opportunity to heal it. With that 1111 portal, it is bringing you guys closer together energetically. That's going to help you manifest in 3D a physical union, but you need to be able to have the patience and have the strength to withstand a period of stagnation as especially if one or the other is still working on healing okay so have your patience if you really want to be with this person they will come forward the universe will make it happen um, and just have faith have faith and continue leading and approaching your life with love all right and I'm gonna leave it there for you all if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I will catch you at